So say I take it in June and then I go and take it again in September and the September is fully digital. Well, um, like, well, just in general, a lot of, a lot of schools taking into account that the test is going digital, will they be taking that into account in the scorings? Because it has been on paper for like, you know, forever. So like, like will they take that account until some people aren't, will work, like, have less quality of work and on digital aspect? That makes any sense. That's a great question. I, I totally get what you mean. And my personal expectation is that in July, when they're doing this 50-50 kind of experiment, I do think they'll find that people do better on the paper than on the digital, because I think the digital LSAT format is kind of clunky and has some some bugs that that should be worked out before they really go big with this. But the plan is, of course, for them to go forward with September no matter what. So I'm not sure what the point of running this experiment is if they're going to still go ahead with it either way. Now, as far as law schools are concerned and admission officers, what will they think? I think there will be they will have some sympathy for those who are doing the digital, given that it is the first time. But there are also the numbers to consider the numbers do have a certain reality and concreteness to them. And law school admission officers, you know, part of their job really is to keep, make sure their schools remain high in the rankings. And their way to remain high in the rankings is to admit the students with the highest numbers possible, the highest scores, the highest GPAs. And so it kind of, it is what it is, make the best of it. And so if you need to retake it multiple times to get better and more comfortable with the, with the format, then I think you should go ahead and do that. So let's say maybe you want to do June, July, September, and October, or just June, September, and October, whatever whatever it works for you ultimately with your schedule. But I think that ultimately you just got to get the score. And if you don't get the score that you want, you should retake. It's really just kind of the real world situation that we have. They don't, they're not able to give any kind of bumper handicap like, like for golf, for example. And it is what it is really. So just get the best numbers possible get yourself a tablet to practice on and you'll maximize your odds of doing well with the format.